Namaste, Mother Nuggets. It's finally time to play some Age of Fantasy Quest. <laughs> I almost forgot the name. <laughs> <clears throat> These are our two heroes, Scarletta and Valdern. Scarletta is the one with the, uh, with the fluffy hat. <laughs> and Valdern has lost an arm in transport, but I guess that's what happens when you play games on the road, right? Um... But that's okay, because she had a sci-fi gun anyway, so it's probably good that she doesn't have that. <laughs> we'll take a look at their stats in a second, but they are going to be um, our, our players for today. And they're going to be fighting against the dwarves. Um, if you missed the last video, I'm going to turn this light off here. And it's pretty dark without that light. If you missed the last video, uh, I apologize for it being so slow. Uh, also, we're, we're on the road, if you uh, didn't know, look pretty in fancy hotel room, um, and this is, this is where we're at, uh, and last episode, we kind of said, look, that's a lot of army to kind of randomly generate, and I don't want to use their stuff, so we said, we're going to draw some cards, if it's a king to a jack, we get dwarven king, who is 150 points. It's a lot of stats. <clears throat> if it is a 10 to an 8, we get the minors. The minors stats are... Where are they? There. All right. Uh, they get some explosive. They're 50 points for three of them. If it is a 7 to a 5, we get the marksman. Oh, it's gone all blurry. <laughs> get the marksman, which uh, is these guys. Then if it's a four to an ace, we get the warriors, which are like only 25 points. So it kind of evens out, right? The two ones in the middle are where they kind of, they're a bit cheaper than they should be, but there is a chance that at some point we could accidentally get the king and die. Um, so that is, that is the deal, yo. All right, Scarletta, let's put her there. She has six quality, six defense, endurance six. Strength 6, Dex 4, Will 6, 0 XP, Gold Stash 0, she has Strider, so she ignores terrain, she's tough 9, there's 9 hit points, she has Rogue Step, which means once per game, uh, when activated, enemies can't target the hero until the end of the round as long as it hasn't targeted any enemies, that's pretty cool, some stealth, uh, and Sleight of Hand, Dex. Uh, the hero may pick up one search token in line of sight within one inch and may modify the roll to see what it contains by up to plus two minus two. So there you go. She has light armor, which gives her defense one, which gets a plus to her defense rolls, so plus one to her defense rolls, uh, and a heavy hand weapon, which is this big old chunky sword. This is actually based on my wife's D and D. Uh, one of my wife's D and D characters, uh, and I made her an entire forty k army, and then she refused to play. <laughs> it looks really cool. They've got like sail ships on their spaceships and stuff. And this is Valdern, who's missing her arm. His arm, her arm. I don't know their arm. Ooh, there you go. Uh, quality five, defense six, endurance four. Not a lot of endurance, so we'll see how that goes. Strength four, deck six, will six. Zero gold stash, tough nine, nine hit points as well. Fighting Might, which once per game when activated, the next time the hero deals at least one hit in melee until the end of the round it deals one extra hit. And Combat Superiority, until the end of the round, next time the hero deals at least one hit in melee, it deals one extra hit. Are they the same thing? I'm so confused. <laughs> uh, it also has Light Armor. And a hand weapon with attack three. Yeah, okay. So there are our heroes. Uh, and today they are going on a retrieval mission. Which we rolled up last time. So we better set up that board. Let's have a look at how to do that in Fantasy Quest. Okay. Primary objective retrieval. Place one within six inches of a random table corner. That counts as the AI goal. Uh, heroes within one inch of the mark can pick it up and use a skill check to 
pass using a dex check, or they'll drop it within one inch and be shaken. Uh, the objective is complete when the hero carrying the marker reaches the end of its hero corner. Uh, so we need to roll to see which table. So we're going to go uh, one, two, three, four, and then five, six, we re-roll. Okay, here we go. One. All right, so let's mark that. We're going to put it put it up here in the, in the hills here. Um, table terrain, just while we're here. Uh, water is impassable. Can't pass through it. These edges of the forests are going to give us um, cover. So they'll give us cover. That gives us cover. Ooh, that gives us cover there too. These lichen, I'm going to say like they're heavy cover. They're, they're kind of blocking terrain. They're so dense that they're blocking. These ones give us elevated and obviously blocking if you're on the other side. Um, uh, unfortunately, we, um, you know, uh, scale is a bit off. This is built for 10 millimeter stuff, uh, you know. <laughs> so, um, but hey, whatever. Uh, as always, we're going to be measuring in centimeters and we're going to be uh, measuring center to center instead of edge to edge to make up for that. Now, there's very specific rules for how you're meant to do terrain in this one. Um, I haven't followed exactly how they are, um, but you do have to pick two to be random. And I was going to roll off for these, but I realized there's really only two things that you can actually enter, which is going to be these two forests. We'll say those two forests, they are dangerous terrain. If you roll like five, six, whatever, you, you die. Um, we'll follow those rules if anyone actually enters them, I guess. Uh, <laughs> basically, uh, maybe the trees eat you or something like that. Uh, we have to roll. We have to, um, do the cards to, you know, shuffle the cards around, shuffle them up, and uh, we'll see who our first wave of sentries is, and we can deploy them, I'm going to just cut randomly into stuff, does that feel shuffled to you, feel shuffled to me, it's hard to shuffle with one hand, oh my gosh, alright, bam, what do we get, we got a six, so according to our chart, a six is some marksmen. That makes sense for them to be sentries, I guess. And they are going to get deployed. Now, uh, also my marksmen, I didn't bring three minis with me. I only have... Um, I have to put my light on. <laughs> Keep putting my light on so you can see. Uh, I have to include one of my bearded veterans to be hanging out with them. We've got, we've got those two guys. There you go. So they're going to be my... They're going to be my marksmen. We've got a roll to see uh, which which random corner. Uh, so they go into the center of a quadrant. So we go one, two, the rules say one, two, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, and then five, six you can choose, uh, but I'm just gonna re-roll five and six. Okay, here we go. Oh, sh I'm just gonna re-roll five and six. <laughs> one. Okay, so they're actually defending the, uh, so they can go in the center here nicely, somewhere like that. Uh, their alertness level is currently zero. And then, um, you know, things happen as, as stuff goes. Now, where do the players start? Again, same, but we're going corners this time instead of quadrants. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, we'll re-roll. Here we go. Ka-chow. Three. So, what did I say? One, two, three. Okay, so we're starting down here. Hmm, that's no good. There's not a lot of, it's not a lot of terrain here. So, we're meant to start in this corner. Um, yeah, okay, I'm just going to move that out of the way so I can kind of, you know, do that. All right. So that is, that is the setup. We're ready to play. Uh, I'm very glad we didn't get the king the first turn. That would have been <laughs> a bit crazy. All right. So the way it works, if you don't know, is you just keep playing till you get the objective, as far as I'm aware, uh, or you die. Uh, every time you take an action, it costs you stress. If your stress is more than your endurance, you have a bad time. So, <laughs> we got to try and keep that under wraps. Um, and uh, what was I going to say? The, the objective is there. You can fail it. That's fine. That's like an option. You can do that too. Uh, and then, what was the other? I'm just going to put that water back in the middle there. Uh, what was the other important thing? Oh, yeah. At the end of every turn, they roll, uh, the bad guys roll to see what their alertness level is, and then you bring on another wave uh, of reinforcements once it reaches six, which is pretty cool. So, uh, without further ado, let's All get right, back. round one. Here we go. So, 
Uh, let's have a quick look. Game structure rounds, blah, blah, blah. You know all this. After heroes and enemies have been deployed, the game starts with the first round and the players taking the first turn. During the turn, the players pick a hero that has not yet been activated and they activate it by performing an action. There's no specific order to which the heroes have to be activated. They may freely change the hero activation each round. Uh, once the action has been taken, the hero's turn ends and another hero's turn starts. Uh, this continues until all heroes have been activated, at which point the AI's turn is to activate. It follows the same sequence as the heroes, activating one at a time. Units activated in order to closest to the hero to furthest from the hero. Once all units have been activated, round ends and a new game begins. Uh, the game continues like this until the game has been end has been reached, uh, as described by the mission. Uh, these are the actions you can take. Rest. Rest recovers your stress. Like I said, stress is very important. Hold. You don't move, but you can shoot. Advance. You move six and shoot after moving. Rush. You can move 12, but can't shoot. Charge. Moves 12 into melee. Skill. Doesn't move, but uses a skill action. Uh, and then there's like the, the complicated things that the AIs can do. So, we are going to activate uh, our... Activate, activate. So we've got the dwarves right there, which is a little bit concerning to me. And I don't have any ranged weapons. Right? So, um, I think... Let's have a look at what I've got here. I think I need to... They have ranged weapons and I don't. And they definitely are going to see me coming from this angle. So, um... Yeah, and I, there's no way I can get into any kind of good position. I'm just in a terrible position. All right, well, I think what we're going to do is we are going to rush behind these, behind there, so that she can get a bit of cover, right, from, from this guy. And she's going to activate her um, her sneak power. <laughs> By deploying on this side of the board, we've kind of nerfed ourselves a bit because we kind of now, you know, what was a quite an extensive size board. Um, let's, let's just find out how big that is. It's like, um, what's that, 47? So it becomes like a five foot board. You know what I mean? Five foot square board. In the scheme of things, <laughs> um, you know, we kind of halved that. We've nerfed it down a bit. So it's still, I guess, two and a half feet long. Anyway, she's going to activate her special ability, Rogue Step, once per game. So you can only do it once. You target the hero until the end of turn, as long as it hasn't targeted enemies. Oh, do we do that now? I don't know that we do that now. That's too early. Uh, she's going to rush as well. She's just going to rush. Well, I don't think we have a choice. We've just got to rush behind here. Uh, and that's their activation. So, enemy AI. We've got to start with him. He's closest easily. Are there enemies in line of sight? Mm, not really. He knows they're there, but that is blocking, we said. So, no. Go to step three. Are you within three inches of an AI goal? No, we are not. So rush to the AI goal. Oh, they have to go to the AI goal. All right. So now he is a dwarf slow. Where's my... I'm guessing they're slow still, right? He's a marksman. Wait, slow. Tough three. All right. So he is going to rush. So he gets eight rush. That is going to... Oh my God, this phone. That is going to put him... He's going to rush there. All right, and then like now, this guy, it's a different story because they are definitely, <laughs> what's better? Can I get them both in? That would make a great little thumbnail. Maybe I rotate them. There you go. So, he definitely can see them. So, is there an enemy in line of sight? Step two, yes. If you move, will the enemy be in range to shoot or charge? Uh, what's their range? Marksman, what is your range? Their range is... 
uh, 18 inches. So let's bring that out to 18. Yeah, definitely. If he moves, he'll be in range. In fact, he might even be in range now. He is in range right now. <laughs> uh, yes, advance, but only as much as needed to shoot, else charge the closest. So yeah, he's going to shoot. All right. Look at that. Dice rolls already. All right. So he has quality, quality four. A3, so I need another dice. Alright. Alright, quality four, A3. Here we go. Alright, two hits. Okay, and he's gonna be shooting Valdern, who's in front. Valdern has a mm, defense of five plus, thanks to the armor. Ooh, two wounds already. Ouch. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Now, Valdern has a nine toughness. So, nine minus two is seven. So, we're going to give Valdern seven wounds left. Oish. There you go. That does not look good for a first turn. All right. Next person's turn. Can he see? I don't think he can. He's got the cover. Oh. He's got the cover in the way. He's got cover, but we said it's cover, so it's going to be one harder to hit for him. So, same deal. Oh, is he within 18? Mm, he's just out. He's going to have to move to within 18. Oh, wait, he's the guy. Never mind. This is the guy. Uh, so, him. Yes, he's going to have to move. Uh, he's going to have to move. So, he's going to... Uh, oh, wait, advance... How much move is advance? Six, so for them is four. Oh, can he move to a spot where he can see? Being really bad with this camera. Can he move to a spot he can see? Right? Mm, not really. He can't really move to a spot where he has clean line of sight, so he's gonna rush to, he's gonna rush up there. All right, making our job even harder. And that's it, that's turn one. Very exciting. Uh, let's have a look so, what we can do now. Alertness. The end of each round, we gotta roll. If it's a six, alertness goes up by two. It's currently at zero. If we get, uh, once it gets to six, it re-redoes it. So we're, at, we're still at zero, so that's good. All right, but now we're on turn two. Okay. So, hmm. They've been shot at. They're not really close enough to charge. The person who was close enough has moved away, so that kind of didn't work in our favor. So I guess we're gonna, we're gonna rush up again, but at least this time we can kind of, uh, you know, we can kind of make use of that. We're getting closer. That's the important thing. We'll keep, keep using that cover to protect us. Scarletta, now, hmm, Scarletta can do her fancy pants thing, so she's going to risk it and maybe also take a bit of heat off Valdern. If coming straight up here is going to give her a more clear line of sight for the others, um, that is going to give us a, um, you know, a better, that's going to give us a better sort of, you know, chance of survival if she, she tanks some of those heats. Though, it's interesting that they don't have, the fighter doesn't have more hit points or more defense. You know what I mean? Like, why does the fighter have such garbage stats compared to the other ones? But there you go. So that's, that's kind of where we're at there. That looks pretty good. There you go. Put my, put my light over here. There you go. Yeah, so, bad guys, starting with the closest. Well, this guy's the closest. Uh, AI. <laughs> I closed the book on the AI thing. But, can you... Is there a target in line of sight? Yes. Go to step two. If you move, will they be in range to shoot or charge? Yes, shoot or charge. No, rush to closest. Well, we are in range to shoot, but not charge. And this guy wants to... Look, if, if I were playing this as me, uh, you know, I would be like, hey, man, 
I want to move away because I don't want to be charged. But um, I'm not playing as me. The AI says he just shoots. So here we go. Quality four. Chica -chica. Uh, no hits. No mas. Uh, all right. The second guy. Same deal. Chica -chica. Well, helps if I actually chica chica the dice. Okay. Two hits. Scarletta has five plus saves. Uh, one save, one hit, and so I take a I take a wound. Uh, she has nine, so we're gonna get a D a D ten out of here. She has nine wounds. Oh, wait, eight wounds left. Where's the eight? Eight wounds left. All right. I don't know. Do you take a stress from taking a wound? Uh, this whole stress system is something kind of new to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, we might look that up in, in between rounds or whatever. This other guy, he can't see her. There isn't someone in line of sight. Oh, it's fireworks time here in Sydney. Can you hear the fireworks out the window? I wonder if we can see it. That's what's happening here. Um, he can't see them, but he can move into range to see them. So he's going to move there and then he's going to shoot her through cover. Is uh, needing sixes to hit. One hits. Defense of five six. Does not make it. That goes down to seven wounds. Seven. Seven. There we go. And um, alertness check. That's not a six. So no one's alert. They think they can handle it. They think they're on this. What a pity. No, we can't see the fireworks. I'm on the wrong side of the building. <laughs> Turn three. All right, let me put my little, little thing down here so we can kind of see if I'm, that, maybe that's too harsh. There we go, that's a bit better. All right, so uh, in this case, I think we're definitely gonna charge, charge this guy and actually get some damage happening, eh? Let's do that. So, uh, you know. Definitely within 12. <laughs> so we're going to charge up and uh, do some damage. I couldn't find anything about being wounded and stress, so I'll have to have a look at stress and what, what gives you stress. Um, but there we go. We're going we're gonna to do this. Quality six, but what? What the flip? Six plus quality. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I am worse than a crappy dwarf. What's the dwarf? Like, the basic crappy dwarf is 4+. plus. I have a worse attack than the crappiest dwarf that is possible. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Wow. Okay, well, I get A3 with one armor piercing. So here we go. Three attacks. I need sixes to hit, and it's going to do armor piercing one. So let's... So not a single hit because of how shit I am. I'm meant to be a C master. Uh, what what C am I mastering with six plus for quality? That's insanely garbage. Wow. Okay, well that changes things. <laughs> um the fighter. Oosh, okay, so the fighter in theory can charge through the woods. But they are dangerous. Can I charge around the woods? Mm. Man, those fireworks are crazy. Seven. Five. I cannot charge around the woods. Alright, let's do a dangerous train check. If it's a six, what happens? Something happens if it's a six. Train. Dangerous train, models moving across dangerous train, uh, or the activate unit must roll one die, or as many as their toughness value. For each roll of one, the unit takes a wound. So do I have to roll nine dice, or take a wound? Is that is that how you would interpret that? Where'd it go? Models moving across dangerous train, or the activate unit must roll one die, or as many as their toughness value, for each roll of one, yeah. Fuck, all right, well, excuse my French, but oh my gosh. It's not French, it's Vietnamese, actually. Uh, fuck, in Vietnamese, lucky. Right. 
Well, I'm throwing dice everywhere. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we were talking about that with my Vietnamese students the other day. Um, I accidentally said a naughty Vietnamese word, not forgetting that some people in my class can actually speak Vietnamese. <laughs> How many got there? One, two, three. All right. Nine dice. Here we go. She's going to move across. Oh, and she's starting her turn in it too. So that's, that's rough. And she only has seven wounds. So she could end up dying here. Here we go. So for every roll of a one. Oi. Welcome to the RJ channel where I roll like crap. <laughs> Alright, well, she takes three wounds. So that's kind of... Oh my gosh. She gets eviscerated by the trees. Uh, where's the four? She takes three wounds. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, she's charged though, so let's get to it. Now these are not AP one. She all she needs a five. She gets a six. She needs a five to hit. She gets one defense. Now the marksman's defense is five plus. He has toughness three. He does not. He does not get it. So he's going to take a wound. I'm going to uh, to make things a bit simpler for him. I'm going to use these tokens for him. Yeah, there's nowhere to put him. Boop. So he gets one wound. All right, AI turn. Starting with the closest. Now, who's he going to attack? Uh, I think doesn't really say, but I think he'll attack. He'll attack the most wounded because that makes sense, right? Uh, here we go. Now, what does his hand weapon do? He has a A3 hand weapon, so he has the same weapon that she does, but he has a much better attack. Four plus. That's two hits. She has five plus defense. Oi. She's down to two wounds. Holy crap. All right. The other guy, uh, he can also... Well, she should have moved out of combat, but yeah, he, same same deal. She can fight back, actually. He, she's going to fight back. She needs sixes to fight back. She does not fight back with sixes. <laughs> she's fatigued and it does not work. He's going to charge in. All right. He's going to use his sword as well. Since he might as well, there's no difference with him using the sword and the range. Like, why wouldn't he? Uh, his quality is 4+, plus, so that's 2 hits. So she gets 2 saves, 5+. plus. She makes 1. Oi, she's not doing good. Uh, she also gets to hit back. She gets 6s. No, 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 no mass. <laughs> no 6s. Now, again, uh, the charging units move back 1 or whatever. So, you know, they're all... They're all kind of there. Now... He cannot draw line of fire to either of them, thanks to this wonderful little thing. Um, but he can move to draw line of fire. Now, this is not a tree that is going to eat him, so he doesn't have to take that test. But he can now see Scarletta, but he can't see Valdern. So, uh, he's going to shoot. Uh, she gets a plus one for the cover, though. So, he needs fives. He gets two hits. She needs... Fives for defense. Oi. They're just getting shredded by these dwarves, mate. Uh, six, five. Where's the five? Where do they keep the five on this thing? There you go. All right. And that's the end of turn three. Let's see. Did they get a... It does not go up. <laughs> They're not very alert. What happens if I kill them all and the alertness is, uh, you know... <laughs> I don't quite understand how that... How oh, that works. Yeah, okay. So, we're on to turn four. Turn four, turn four. Okay. I think it's very likely that Valdern is going to die <laughs> if we don't do something about this. So, I think Valdern needs to GTFO the board... Um, and look at failure missions, right? Failure of missions. How do we flee the board? Can we flee from any edge or do we have to go from our, um, our home edge? You know what I mean? Lee. That's brutal. I can't believe how badly they're getting wrecked here. <laughs> uh, does it say how to flee? Can you... Fail missions. If a heroes are killed during a mission, they must restart the chapter, but restore all wound stress and bleeding conditions and injuries. Alright, well, it looks like you just fight till you're dead, I guess. 
Oi. Yeah, okay. All right, well, it doesn't really matter who she attacks. She's gonna attack. She'll attack the already wounded guy. Yes, five plus. Oi, there you go. That's pretty. His defense value is five plus as well. He saves one, but he takes a second wound counter. All right, now he gets to attack her back. He's got four plus, because he hasn't fought yet. Two hits, she better save it. She saves one, but unfortunately that's, oh, you know what? She was meant to roll for her toughness anyway. So she would have been dead from the, the razor vines, the trees, because she started in the thing. Oh no. All right, and what is, now there's no point in Scarletta activating her sneaky ability because it's not far enough to get around. If it was like actual inches, we probably would, <laughs> you know, but because we've scaled it down so we can play on this tiny table, uh, it's not. So yeah, like I, I, I'm playing this, she's going to fight to the death, but I think if I were really playing this, I would retreat her, you know, if this is a real role play game, that's what we do. She's going to attack him. ka -chow. Oh, I should probably show you that I, uh, she needs sixes, so she hits nothing. He gets to hit back. He also needs sixes because he's fatigued. He gets one. Uh, she needs a five plus to save, which she does not get. So she goes down to uh, wherever they keep the four. There it is. Four dice. All right. Why not? He's going to attack. Properly attack. He needs sixes because he's already fought. Uh, he does not get it. He moves back out of the way. This guy's going to shoot her. Uh, five, he needs fours. That's two hits. She needs five plus to succeed. Uh, she succeeds one, but the other one goes down to a three. Where'd it go? Three. Where is the three? There it is, three. Uh, and then the other guy is going to also shoot. Uh, he needs uh, five plus to hit because he is got cover, and luckily he doesn't hit anything. Uh, and that is the end of round three or four. Hang on, let's see. Oh, the alertness does go up by two, so our alert level is now, I should just do it with a d6, but there we go, two. Our alertness is now two. When we get to six, uh, reinforcements come. Oy. All right, uh, I guess we just go into round five. Like, there isn't really anything she can do. I don't feel this is fun. <laughs> you let me know, you watch this video. Is this fun? You tell me. Uh, here we go, she's gonna attack six. I think having that stat of six really made me sad. She, look, she hasn't hit shit. Pardon the French. Pardon my French. Uh, the, the wounded guy is who she was attacking. He's gonna attack back. He can hit with fours, but luckily gets nothing. He moves out of combat at the end of his turn. Well, I think, you know, she moves out of combat. Again, we're just gonna repeat this. The ranged guy's gonna shoot her and get more than four. She's gotta get fives. She saves one, she loses one. That becomes a two. And the other guy, same deal. Uh, he gets two sixes. That's very nice. She's got to save them. She saves one, but she loses another one. She's down to one. And like, I can't see this being anything other than just a war of attrition, guys. Like, oh, nine. <laughs> That's one way to win. Uh, the end of the turn. Alertness doesn't go up. Uh... And then, uh, you know, we just r rinse and repeat, right? She's going to attack that one guy. Uh, she, she doesn't get a single hit because she needs a six. Uh, he's going to attack back because they're in melee combat. He does hit back. She's going to defend. She does not defend. She's dead. And that is the end of the game. All right. Uh, let's do a quick reflection. All right. So we just played our first game of... Turn that off. Hang on. Played our first game of um, Quest, and yeah, it felt very. Um, I don't know. It didn't feel fun. <laughs> what did you think? Uh, like it, it very much damaged me, it damaged my mood. That um, she only has a quality of six. Now, tell me if I'm wrong. Like, is this? Have I done the stats wrong here? Um, you know. Why does she have a quality of six? 
And why does the, the fighter have a quality of four? Why is the fighter more crappy, worth more points too, mind you, like worth considerably more points than the other ones? Um, but like, they just can't, they, they have no hits. You know what I mean? They just, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not fun. <laughs> Like, I don't have things I can do. I don't have things I can do. Um, let's have a look at the other characters real quick while we're here. Like, that doesn't look... That doesn't... Okay, again. Let's have a look at this. Now, let's take a second to look at our 145 point. So, the, this, this demon is five points less than... The Dwarf King, right? Five points less than the Dwarf King. And look at that stat difference, right? He has quality three plus. Defense four plus does nine attacks, right? Sure, he he's also fearless. If we look at that, wow, I can't believe, like... <laughs> She's a level one. Sure, she's level one. I get that it's level one and you level up as you go through. But how are you, like, how are you meant to compete? You've got 145 points and you're still six plus to hit. Like, sure, she's a warlock. Again, I get it. She's a caster. She's not a fighter. But even the fighter is only five plus to start with. Like, far out, man. And yeah, I get it. She has all those special abilities. Like, look at that massive list of special abilities and spells and things. But that's just not fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't feel fun. It just feels like um, just rolling dice, <laughs> you know, but not in an interesting way. I don't think I'm going to do another game of this right now. I am going to check that I've done it right and maybe get your feedback. Tell me what you thought of the game. Oh my gosh, yeah, that just didn't feel... That didn't feel fun. I don't feel like... I feel really bummed out now. <laughs> I just feel bummed out. Like, um, yeah, and confused as to why that was so difficult. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. What did I do wrong making the character? If you know, tell me. Like, is... did. Is there a way to get them more than plus five at the start? <laughs> like what? Like, and that's, that's two. That's what they say. Two to four. And like, that was not how big the wave should be. The wave is meant to be like one and a half times that size. Like they're meant to be another like two dudes there. There's no way that those two characters can survive. The action economy you know, it doesn't, um, the action economy doesn't let you do it. It does like, you can't, you can't do it. Especially if you've got like ranged verse, ranged verse melee. Like, and that was fine. Like we got into melee. Okay. And we still had like a reasonable amount of points in melee. Granted, I made a foolish mistake of like charging through, but yeah, far out. I don't, I don't know what to say. I apologize if this was... Firstly, I know it's a crappy video, like, film-wise. I didn't do a good job filming it, but it's just a disappointing video, too, you know? I apologize. You deserve better. You deserve better than my crappy video. I apologize. I'm so sorry. But, yeah. Let's do something fun tomorrow. Ciao, ciao for now, I guess. Man, I'm so bummed out now.